They are gruesome murder mysteries still unsolved after more than a year. The severed heads of two women discovered near water, one in Louisiana and one right here in Houston. Now, there are some similarities between these two cases that have detectives wondering if they're related. Yes, tonight, Channel 2 anchor Andy Sirota reviews the evidence, and he's talking with investigators and with forensic experts about where this could all lead. At first glance, the shoreline of Lake Houston looks like most inland lakes in southeast Texas, a place for fishing, boating, and swimming. More than 100 miles away in Cameron Parish, Louisiana, is Calcasieu Lake, a place that looks quite similar. But there's something else they have in common. More than a year ago, back in March 2018, roughly three weeks apart, two grisly discoveries the severed heads of two women. The cases have some similarities to them, uh, not ruling out that they're similar, but uh, not ruling out that they have anything to do with each other either. So what makes these cases so similar? Investigators say both women had auburn hair. Both of their heads were found in a plastic bag in close proximity to a lake. And both are thought to be within the same age range. In Louisiana, the LSU Faces Lab used the remains to create this image. Sketch artist Lois Gibson used photos of the head found near Lake Houston to create this sketch. Just finding the identity of the person has been more of a struggle than anything else. So late last month, this new rendering was released by the Texas Department of Public Safety after the Harris County Institute of Forensic Sciences developed an anthropological profile using the skull. Dr. Leanne Grossberg is a forensic pathologist. She's not involved with these cases, but says the work she does often uncovers clues that are extremely useful to police. You would probably um, want to look for whether the person was strangled or not, which might be very difficult, but there are some findings in the eyes and the face that you could look for. Homicide detectives from the two different law enforcement agencies have met face to face and are keeping one another updated on their findings. Looking for similarities, looking for differences, um, and trying not to get tunnel vision that these two are, are strictly related. More than a year after their investigations began, they still don't know who the women are or who killed them. And as we uh, run down more leads, we eliminate more people. Houston police investigators have chased down and eliminated nearly 80 leads. We've gotten tips all, all over the country. And one from as far away as England. About a month ago, the well all but dried up. But since the new sketch was released at the end of April, detectives are getting about two to three tips a day. It's a person that somebody's missing somewhere. It's a person's mother or a person's sister or wife. If DNA from the head is put into a national database the FBI uses and there's a hit, HPD homicide investigators say they'd be able to identify the woman that way. They're waiting on forensic examiners to take that next step. If you have any information that could help investigators, call Houston Crime Stoppers at 713-222-TIPS. Andy Sirota, KPRC Channel 2 News.